Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. Today we are talking about A Book of Bones by John Connolly. So for this one, the very first thing I want to talk about is um, how I haven't reviewed the rest of the series. Um, I think uh, the, the other books uh, tended more toward telling a story to get to this point. It, this feels like the end of an era kind of deal, even though it's not an end to... Eh, actually, I'll leave that because it might be a spoiler for some of you guys. But uh, in this one, Charlie is on the hunt for the Atlas, um, which is a book that changes, could bring on the end of the world. And also, I have to make note of this, uh, Atria Publishing sent me this book for review free of charge in exchange for this review. Um, I am going to give it, right off the bat, four stars. I'm giving it four stars because this time I do feel like this one was a little long-winded. Um, there was a lot of stuff uh, I felt, you hear it all the time, people say, oh, you could have cut 200 pages out of this, but there's actually some chapters that I think could be getting ri got, gotten rid of completely and it wouldn't affect the book whatsoever. As always, the highlights of this book are Charlie, uh, Angel, and Louis, 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 whichever one you want to use. I've heard the audiobook call him both, um, but I, I, I tend toward uh, calling him Louis. Uh, those three characters are always a pleasure, and I cannot wait for the Nameless Ones um, because it's another... Uh, it's another Angel and Louie book. I'm not sure if Parker's in it at all. Um, I know it happens in Amsterdam, and they go to Amsterdam in this book, so I'm not 100% sure if it is a parallel story to this one. Um, I was expecting something more with Sam in this book. Um, I won't say what, because if you haven't read the other books, then it'd be a spoiler, but uh, his daughter, uh, Sam, uh, has been playing a very, very major role, and this time around, it was a little bit more, but it wasn't what I expected. Um, not that it was, not that th that stuff was bad, it's just I was expecting a little bit more. We get a little, uh, like an eyedropper of progress. Um, we've been getting these little drops of progress over the course of the past five books, I believe. Um, and it just, it's, it's not enough. Um, I did enjoy it. I did get through it, but I am going to knock off the star because it did feel over long. Um, at the ending, in fact, I was at three stars before the ending came along. The ending is absolutely stellar. It's fantastic. Um, I enjoyed every bit of it. Uh, there's little Easter eggs to other books, much earlier, earlier books. Um, all the way back to, I think it's book three that I really appreciated because I was wondering, I was wondering what happened to these characters on the other side, as it were. And I think we got, uh, I think we got, I, well, I got the answers that I wanted. The last thing I want to talk about is, um, is kind of a question. Is, is this book a good culmination of the storyline up until this point? And I feel that it is. I want it a bit more, but I'm not going to rate this based on my expectations. Um, it, it went places that I kind of saw coming, except for the ending. Um, it's, it's just more of the same from the past five books. It, you know, going around tracking. I mean, it is a detective fiction thriller, whatever you want to call it. Just Charlie running around um, and Angel and Louie running around. And it got to the point where... I just wanted to get to the end, um, and I, like I said, I bumped it all the way down to three stars until that fantastic ending. Um, do I think that you should read the entire series? I think this is important because this is book 17. There's 18 books so far. The Dirty South came after this one, um, but it's actually a prequel. Uh, the Nameless Ones continues on the story, and then there's supposedly another one coming after that that brings us back around to Charlie. So, um, and this is all uh, rumor mill kind of stuff, uh, so people piecing together stuff that Connolly has said on Twitter and j newsletters and things like that. Um, do I think you should read the entire series? Yes, I think you should. Um, especially if you're going to read this book. Uh, it was sold to me. It was, well, I was told that it was a standalone, but I don't think you can read the last five books as a standalone. I think you can read up to, I think, uh, number 11 as a standalone. The, f the first three or four kind of, you know, intercut into each other also. But by the, by the end of the series, you have to have read these other books or you're not going to catch very important stuff. So this is definitely not a standalone. 
Um, but that's where I'm going to leave this review. I know it's very vague. Um, I'm just giving you my opinions on the series thus far. I'm going to continue reading it because Charlie, Angel, and Louie are my, some of my favorite characters in fiction, period. Um, and I suggest you go and check out the series as a whole. Um, it is on The entire series is on Scribd. Uh, there's a link down there in the doobly-doo. Uh, if you want to get a free month, and my kids get a free month, it's their account that I'm linking to, they get a free month for every single one of you who sign up. So if you'd like to do that, I appreciate you. If not, no worries. It's not sponsored. I'm not getting paid to say that. I'm just trying to pass along a free month and trying to get my kids, you know, <laughs> unlimited audiobooks. But if you want to help, I appreciate it. Have you read A Book of Bones or are you reading the Charlie Parker series? I'd love to hear from you whether or not you love it, hate it, whether you're mad about it. If you feel any of those things, explain to me why so that we can have a discussion. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!